Guillermo Rigandau has one of the most unique styles in boxing today. He's a powerful southpaw whose defense is reminiscent of Floyd Mayweather's and whose offense is an animal all of its own. Rigandau has been known to practice his punches in the air before connecting with the same combination. This has led some to believe that Rigo is rehearsing his punches, or even calling a punch in the same way that Babe Ruth used to call his home runs. While a probing rear hand to measure distance is nothing unusual for a southpaw, throwing slow motion combinations far away from your opponent is something else entirely. But the truth is that Rigandau is not measuring where his opponent is, he's measuring where they're about to be. And he knows that's where they'll be because of the elaborate trap that he set for them. This is possible because of Rigandau's mastery of three important elements in boxing. Distance, timing, and drawing. Rigo stays at the perfect distance to force his opponents to take a large step forward if they want to connect. While his opponents must reach, Rigo is already perfectly balanced, with his punch loaded up and waiting. All he needs to do is shut the trap. Of course, this wouldn't be possible without Rigo's ability to draw punches. Drawing is when a fighter tries to entice his opponent to attack by leaving a specific opening so that he can then counterattack. Many great fighters through history mastered this ability, and Rigo does this masterfully as well, but goes one step further than most. Rigandau gives his opponent a specific slow motion punch off of which to counter. The genius of this is that Rigo knows the exact punches that his opponent are most likely to throw in response as he knows the specific area in which he's left himself open. And he also knows when it's coming. Rigo's timing, particularly his tempo, stands out as one of the most consistent elements of his style. His methodical, consistent pace lulls his opponent into a false sense of comfort. He knows when the punch is coming because he knows precisely when he's intentionally left himself open. He will then triple his speed mid-punch, turning a slow, probing strike into a devastating blow. So to recap, Rigo forces his opponents to come to him by establishing distance, gives them a specific opening to draw a punch, and only leaves a small but consistent window of time in which that opening appears. When his competitor takes the bait, he slips and beats him to the punch. What looks like magic is actually skill developed over years of hard work practicing the fundamentals of distance, tempo, and drawing. There's a lot more to Rigandau than this rarely used technique. He has excellent defense, an insane ability to alter angles mid-combination, and a name no two boxing commentators can seem to agree on how to pronounce. But don't worry, this channel will be going much more in-depth in the pre-fight breakdown of Rigandau vs. high-tech Vasily Lomachenko, coming out soon. So stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out my book Power of the Pros, where I break down step by step the way the world's greatest boxers, kickboxers, and MMA fighters put power into their strikes. It comes with access to half an hour of exclusive breakdowns, and I've left a link below if you'd like to take a look. For the Modern Martial Artists, this has been David Christian, saying, Happy training.